So an amazing opportunity uh, here on The Takeaway to speak with outgoing president of MIT, Dr. Susan Hockfield. Um, and uh, first of all, thanks so much for speaking with us. It's a pleasure, John. And, you know, I'm wondering if you have on your way out the door here uh, with uh, a legacy intact and an institution as healthy as ever, um, help families who are considering higher education, thinking about the value of higher education at a time of tremendous turmoil, certainly for families. Um, how, in your view, should they evaluate uh, the access, the potential, and the opportunity of uh, a four-year undergraduate education in this day and age? A college education remains the most important path to success, individual lifetime success as well as career success. I recently looked at unemployment figures. I don't believe that college necessarily prepares you for a job, you know, a particular job. But if you look at unemployment figures in the United States, which people are appropriately concerned about, if you don't have a high school diploma, that group has an unemployment rate of 15%. If you have a high school diploma but not a college degree, the unemployment rate is 10%. If you have a college degree, the unemployment rate is 5%. So if you're concerned about your children having jobs in the future, the best way to achieve that, at least in terms of the statistics, is to get a college degree. And I would say for a family that's really deeply concerned about the cost of education, I would offer two important directions for them to pursue. The first is that public universities in almost every state are outstanding and can offer an outstanding education. Education is largely the responsibility of the student. So a well-motivated student can get a terrific education at any one of the public universities in America. The second avenue that unfortunately most people don't know about, for students who qualify, who can be admitted to many, if not most of the very top schools in the land, most of those schools offer very generous financial aid packages. Here at MIT, I know at Harvard, Yale, Stanford, Princeton, probably there's a huge number of other schools. We admit students in a need-blind application process. We don't consider a family's ability to pay for an education when we review who comes to MIT. And then when we decide on which students are prepared to make the best use of MIT's resources, we make it financially possible for every single one of those students to come to MIT. If you're a family with an annual income of $75,000 a year, we cover all of your tuition costs, and in some cases more. It's very important to uh, universities of MIT's caliber that we make it possible for a student with the abilities and the ambition to succeed here, that they, we make it possible for them to come here financially. And the lesson there would be, be determined, be entrepreneurial about the financial aid uh, options that are out there. What do you say to people who think uh, a four-year education is a distraction? Uh, if you want to be like a Wozniak or a Jobs, uh, you don't need to graduate, just be an entrepreneur. Well, there are you know, good examples of people who have dropped out of college or haven't gone to college who have succeeded as entrepreneurs. Uh, the thing I always point out is that most, if not all, of the companies that are spun out of MIT are spun out around technologies and disciplines that are very advanced. So just as one example, the battery technology that supports uh, the batteries that A123 Systems makes um, the chemistry of those battle batteries is not chemistry that you learn in high school chemistry. And it is true for many of the technologies that come out of MIT, out of material science and engineering, frankly, out of electrical engineering and computer science. These are not uh, technologies or approaches or, um, frankly, even infrastructures um, that one learns about in high school. Stay in school. Stay in school. Thank you so much. Thank you.